that, 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 that's a that's a perfect transition to um, what I wanted to talk about next. Um, um, it, it, it's really impossible to quantify um, <laughs> like how much you know what had we had good leadership. The death total now, which is 190,000, more than 190,000, 6 million cases. If we had, had good leadership, what would that be? It's difficult to quantify, but just a little, little example, not little, examples like what you said just now, about when the leader is saying certain things, it influences the way that others react and respond. Definitely. So something, something that came out today, how back in February, Right, but way before lockdown, back in February, Trump was recorded talking about how he knows how bad this is. And it was five times worse than the flu. Uh, and, you know, that's, that, that's him in February, knowing how bad it is, but going publicly and saying something completely different. And then also, like a few weeks later, literally saying, um, I'm... I'm going to downplay this. You know, I, I wow. just literally saying I'm downplaying this because, in, you know, you know, do not just, you know, spook up the markets and investors lose a bunch of money and they turn against him. But this is literally him. So it's not something that I guess can ball fake news on this because it is him talking and it is recorded and you can hear his voice saying that he knows how bad it is. He knows people can't catch this. That, you know, with just through the air, without even touching anything, and how um, you know, and how bad it is, five times worse than the flu, and so he knows all this, and he's saying this stuff and having these conversations in private, but in public, he's saying something completely different. So you, as a school administrator, as a you know, you may be all aboard the Trump yeah. train and, yeah. and believe everything I'm saying, so that 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 affects how you then go about, you know, um, manage your district, managing your managing, yeah. you know, and, and that applies to schools, businesses, churches, applies to everything. I mean, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a crime. <laughs> it really is. Uh, just the, the absolute negligence that has caused so much people to suffer, right? Has caused people to die, caused families to suffer, caused people to lose jobs. Yeah. And meanwhile, you know, the truth all along and then lying to people. Man, this. Anyway, I, I don't have a question. That's just a commentary. <laughs> no, you know, well, you know, I, I was, I was driving down Highway Six today, you know, and I was surprised the amount of businesses was going under. I mean, I know mm. we've been in this slum for about six, seven months, but when you consider how how much these businesses were hoping that they would get to open back. But, mm -hmm. you know, the, the president was telling them, oh, everything will be fine. You know, everything will be okay. And then you drive down the street to see another business saying, going out of business, mm -hmm. not closing, going out of business. Yep. And you're wondering, what, what were some of these business doing with their, their profits when they were making it? You need six months of, of hey. slow purchases and you're not, you're not closing the business. <laughs> You're going out of business. That's a long ass time to not have any revenue. It is. It Six is. months? It is. <laughs> but guess what? But guess what? I've seen stores that every time I've been in there, I've seen no no more than maybe two or three customers mm. still alive right now. Mm, yeah. That's money still alive. Alive because of the, not because of the standards. Nah, nah, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So you know, the, the, you know, he's thinking, hey. You know, everybody will be fine. If I tell them everybody will be fine, they'll believe it and everything will be. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> right. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's like the, the classic bullshit artist, right? Yes. And think he can talk his way and dress up everything. If I just you know. say everything is fine, yeah. then people will believe it's fine. Regardless of the fact that they lost their job two months ago and I've been trying to get one ever since and can't get one. Regardless of the fact that their auntie and grandma and uncle, everybody's sick and all, regardless of all that, if I just say everything is fine, it will go away, then they will just believe it. Yeah. <laughs> it's my little criminal, so, man. So, so this, this <laughs> lack of preparation because of what the leader have been saying, you know, yeah. 
not until I really volunteered in schools, I, I didn't really understand the big help that school is, 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 is helping these people out. Because even though you oh, have yeah. kids that, mm -hmm. that are virtually learning, mm -hmm. they're still not getting any food. Yeah. They still have to have curbside uh, uh, yeah. assistance mm -hmm. with food. And when you talk to some of these kids, you know the only time they get a good meal when they go to school. Go to school. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So you you hear them talking about, oh, I can't believe these people don't have internet. Internet. These people don't, don't have, don't have, have food. To live. Yeah. <laughs> right. Man. So internet is the least least of their problems. Yeah. You can't worry yeah. about that. So yeah, they, some people might say, hey, you know, I have internet and you think that most people are like you. No, they're people that are really out there struggling and every dime that they have, it has to go towards food or yeah. somewhere to live. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, that, that, this, that, this, is our, this is our light episode, <laughs> just for instance. Um, but <laughs> but I, I, look, um, I just said that, man. So CNN, I, I, they, they did a, a feature on the amount of evictions that are taking place, right? Because there, right. there was this yeah, eviction sorry. moratorium for a while. Why this thing just bun me just watching it, man? You, you see, you know, sheriff, you know, go, you know, show up to the apartment and knock on the door and say, you know, the eviction notice. And this is this, this young youth, the guy probably in his early twenties, his girl and the two young kids. And, you know, basically they have to leave. And you say, you know, and they, so they, you know, they couldn't, they don't have any car and they don't have any place to go. So the things right. that they had in their house, it's gonna have to just throw it out on the just street. Throw it out, yeah. And so they just carrying the few like possessions on a baby stroller. It's something bun me, man. Just seeing that, and then it's like a, another, like a, a like an older lady. Um, you know, they, they, you know, she looked like she was probably like about eighty or so. Didn't have anywhere to go, but they they were supposed to kick her out that day, but because the temperature was hot, they gave her one extra day. So, <laughs> so you know what I mean? So it just like it, you know, it wasn't so gonna we, be hot we, tomorrow. I mean, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, um, but you no. know, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a trickle thing, though, because, you know, yes, yeah, so a lot of these, uh, you know, landlords, a lot of them, I mean, they, they need rent to pay to be able to afford that property. It's not all just a mega corporations. Some are people who, who just own one or, you know, a, a, a duplex or, or what have you. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I understand that aspect of it also, but, um, you know, we, 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 we talk about, um, you know, school and the Wi-Fi is choppy and whatever. You know, and, and those things obviously are problematic. Some people catching straight hell out there. Some, you know, a lot of people are being put out on the streets. Yeah. You know, and, and that and that is, you know, so you, you sometimes you see like homeless people and you think, oh, it's because they're, you know, they have a mental illness or they're addicted to drugs. No, no. It's it's a lot of people out there who, you know, I have a friend of mine who did a documentary on, you know, the uh, homeless population around Houston. He said the majority of those people, you know, you know, people who went to school, they have degrees, but something happened, they lost their job and they couldn't quite catch back up. Yeah, right? they back. You know, it's and, tough. And, it's tough for and, them then, and then you don't have an address, so it's time for you yeah. to get a job, you know, and just kind of, you know, spend a lot of control. I mean, so um, people catching hell out there, man. Um, anyway, as we continue this light edition of Just Reasoning, uh, I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> I 